My dad is outside as we speak butchering one of our homestead turkeys and we're going to eat it for dinner tomorrow but what I normally do is we'll put it in a brine and let it sit in the brine for 24 hours. So I'm getting ready to do that and I'm going to make my brine. If you haven't brined a turkey, I mean it's really really common for most people today to have brined a turkey and there are so many different recipes on the internet if you look for a turkey brine you'll find a million of them really though all it is is a salt water solution and there's a ratio of water to salt and basically that's all you need to do that's all it really is because what happens is the salt through osmosis and there's some kind of like technical scientific thing that happens but basically what happens is it draws it equalizes the um, salt solution with the turkey so that it's drying moisture drying water into the turkey and it makes it really really moist now scientific people out there may critique what I just said but basically that's what happens <laughs> I'm going to add to the cooler two gallons of hot water I'm gonna put a little splash of vinegar in just a bit I love bay. I think that anything tastes really good flavored with bay. So I like to put bay leaves in. And I'm just going to sprinkle some Italian seasoning in. So I have two gallons of hot water and then I'm going to put in one and a half cups of salt. All right, so I'm just going to give that a stir. And the, and the water is hot, so the salt will dissolve. Tim's going over to the turkey coop. He's going to pick out tomorrow night's dinner. Is that hard work? Yeah, he's big and heavy. That's a, that's a really pretty turkey. It is, boy. Yeah. yeah. Dinner. Dinner to Arna. He's about almost six months old, so he's full grown. So given as old as he is, we, we soak him in a brine for about 24 hours. It really tenderizes the meat. Okay, while well, Tim carries off the bird to the slaughter, let's go take a look at the water that he's got warmed up to start the plucking process. So out here in the outdoor kitchen, uh, we've got a fire going. And the water should be boiling or close to it. Oh, well, it's getting there. And uh, what that does, it makes it very easy to pluck the bird. Uh, once you dip it in the water. You dip the, dip the bird in the water for about 15 seconds, 20 seconds or so. And you pull them out. You can, you can keep them in there as long as 30, 45 seconds. Uh, but that scalds the skin, releases the feathers, and the, the, makes the pulling of the feathers out of the skin very easy. Okay, what do you got there? It's heavy! There. Okay. Okay. It ended up, well, when I killed it, I weighed it 18 pounds. By the time we dressed it, it got 15 pounds. 15 pound turkey, that's... 15 pounds. That's like a store-bought. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I just pulled the turkey out of the oven. It ended up cooking for about two and a half hours. Uh, the temperature would be 165 if you're curious. I have a thermometer that I just test the temperature with. So 165 and then it's done. Um, I ended up stuffing it with a garlic herb butter. So I just put that under the skin and slathered it all over. <laughs> so um, the skin is nice and crispy like Zach loves. And so we're going to get ready to eat this pretty soon. If you enjoyed this video, please check out this list of fine people. They are our patrons and they make this show possible. They are the executive producers of our show. 
For more information about our patrons, go to patreon.com slash anamericanhomestead. In the meantime, please check out these other videos and like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on An American Homestead.